We are prepared for the situation that we face. We already have food supplies in place. We already have support for those displaced in place. Um, the floods that are ravaging our country, we have close to 10,000 people uh, displaced in Nairobi. We, are, we have already a robust program led by none other than my deputy, who could not even attend this meeting because he's focused on making sure that we deal with those who are affected. We have mudslides that are affecting Kenya. In fact, there is an ongoing exercise, as I talked to you, by the whole of government to make sure that those affected by the mudslides are taken care of. And tomorrow morning, we are having a cabinet meeting to be able to discuss on additional measures that my government is going to take to make sure that citizens who are victims of uh, climate change, who today are suffering floods, they are suffering mudslides, are looked after. It is a realization that while we had a drought a year ago, today we have floods. A year ago, Malawi, Zimbabwe, uh, Mozambique were having floods. Today, they are having drought. That is the reality, that is the new normal, as I said, of our situation, and we have to continuously work at it. We, are, we have already established a 24-hour disaster center. We are monitoring the situation. Our uh, take and uh, that from experts show that these rains will taper and that we will see uh, a lesser uh, intensity of rain. But that is not uh, to say that we are less prepared or we are letting down our guard. We will continuously be monitoring the situation so that we can take care of any emergencies. Already, we have sent out uh, messages to citizens who live in precarious situations. And we are using our provincial administration to even move citizens away from those areas even if they don't want to move, because we want to look out for their